here we go again, ladies and gentlemen. More election interference and not the way you think. Not the way we think uh, they're trying to lock Trump up because constitutionally, even if he's, you know, he's charged, which he is with bogus charges, convicted, tried, convicted, and even imprisoned out of prison, he can still run. We can still vote for him. He can, he can win and serve term as president. So what are they doing? So they understand I, I want to break this down in this video, ladies and gentlemen. I've been thinking about this for the last 24 hours. How to word this correctly. How to present it to you, my viewers, my supporters, my freedom-loving patriot family. How can I bring my thoughts to you guys in the most coherent and understandable way of what I believe they are doing? They understand that. They probably are not able to pull off 2020 again. Wisconsin, Trump lost by 20,000 votes. Georgia, I think it was like 34,000 votes. And Arizona by 10,000. When I say lost, I, I, I'm saying it very softly. And they are afraid they can't pull off 2020 again because he won all those, all three of those states and 2016 and if he wins those three states in 24th guaranteed he's the president again and they're shaking in their boots and they're afraid that they can't pull off 2020 so what are they doing so my thought process and please and let me know down in the comments if you agree with this they understand they have the <clears throat> hardcore mega crowd right the people that are going to stand with trump and support him through thick and thin, no matter what, because we understand what we are going up against. We understand that this, yes, he's not your typical American, but he's a multi-billionaire who had a fantastic life and then left all that behind to be backstabbed and betrayed by the people that he thought were his friends. He understood that the swamp was real and the corruption runs deep, but he, he didn't know it's this bad. So he left all that behind. The only president in American history whose net worth went down and believed by $4 billion. He donated his entire salary for those four years to charity. And he came to put America first, our economy first, our children first. And they understand that there's a mega crowd who's going to be loyal. Then they understand that there are Democrats, the brainwashed libs, whose opinions and mindset and understanding changes every couple of years. They understand they're going to vote no matter what. But they understand there's a huge population of independent people who, who you can still sway this way or that way. They understand that those people in 2016 came out and voted for Trump in large numbers. But in 2020, in 2020, they, they lied to them. And they were able to get just enough with everything else that they did. I mean, some ballots here, some ballots there. The Democrats find ballots everywhere. That's a great... That's a great thing. I might just make a shirt. Ballots here, ballots there. The Democrats find ballots everywhere. Might become a MAGA rapper. I don't know. We will see. Time will tell. But they understand that they need to sway those voters for them. And they understand that, hey, if we just throw a lot of dirt at Trump and we whitewash the crimes of the Bidens and the Democrats, we have a chance. So just like in 2020 when the Biden, the Hunter Biden laptop, which the FBI had since 2019. See, the same FBI that leading up to 2020 that was saying the Hunter laptop is Russian disinformation are the same people who knew that it's not Russian disinformation, that the laptop is real, that it belongs to Hunter. And then they lied. 
Do you know that in the summer of 2021, there was a survey done among independents, independent people who voted uh, for Biden? They said, if you knew, like, if this story didn't come out, that it's Russian disinformation, but if you knew the truth, would you still vote for Biden? 11% said no. They said we would have either voted for Trump or we would have voted or we wouldn't have, have voted at all. And if you just take those 11% out, Trump wins. I mean, he literally lost, lost, again, I say it very softly, lost the 2020 election by less than 70,000 votes. If you take what his loss in Georgia, Wisconsin, and Arizona, it's less than 70,000 votes. And they understand if we play, if, if the game is fair and everyone hears the truth about everything, they can't pull it off again, no matter what they do. So here's what they're doing. They're, they're playing the same playbook again. They're doing what they did in 2020 again. They're throwing fake dirt at Trump, making up stories and lies. Because who, that's who they are. They're liars and they are children of the father of lies, the devil. So all they know is lies because, you know, every four years they got to get you to vote for them. So they're going to make you promises. They're going to give you student debt forgiveness, right? They're going to put Roe versus Wade into law. They promised you Dems all that. Didn't happen. They said they're going to unite the country. They're going to put Vladimir Putin in check. They're going to put Xi Jinping in check. Have they checked anybody? No. And the only people that they're going up against is we the American people who love this country and want to put this country first. And want nothing to do with wars that are four or 5,000 miles away. When the people that we are funding are literally blowing up civilian bridges. But it's okay. It's just, it's just a swastika. It's just a swazi. Now, they want to... So, right now, they are focusing on that group, very big group in this country, of independent voters. I know some independent voters who have actually went from... They voted for Biden. I mean, they voted for Trump in 2016. Then because of all the lies, they voted for Biden in 2020. Then in the midterms, they went Republican. And now they, they see with all this happening, they're starting to lean more to the left again. So what they're doing is they're trying to sway that percentage of the independent voters with lies. But not just lies. They're doing something bigger than 2020. They did not just lie about Trump. They lied about Biden. They covered up. His crimes, so they made up crimes for Trump, but they covered the crimes of Biden. The influence peddling, international influence peddling. The prostitution rings. His son being a foreign agent, working with at least four different countries. China, Romania, Ukraine, Russia. So all of this is happening. And, you know, this week, they, they're, they're indicting Trump on another bogus charge. But today, and I will keep you guys updated, an IRS whistleblower is going to be testifying in front of Congress, in front of the nation, in front of the world. What is he going to be testifying to? Well, this IRS whistleblower was actually working on the Biden case. He was going to indict Jim Hunter, Jim Biden, Joe's brother, Hunter Biden, his son. And then eventually when Joe's not president, he wanted to indict him also for lots of crimes. He wanted to raid their houses. But the FBI tipped off the Bidens. Then the FBI put pressure on this whistleblower and his investigation team to not do anything to leave them alone and then they took them off the case and give gave Hunter a sweetheart deal. 
So my conclusion as to what they are doing is they're trying, right now they're focusing on the independent voters. They understand the brainwashed libs are going to do what they're going to do. The hardcore MAGA are going to vote how they're going to vote. You can't sway these two groups of people. But the independent ones, they can't. See, me, if someone came along in the Democrat Party and spoke like Trump and said, hey, this is not the Democrat Party. I remember growing up with what's happening. Hey, if I win president, guess what? We're turning this ship around. No more of this extreme nonsense. No more of this BS. I'd vote for him. If Trump is not here and someone else is and he comes out who's not establishment, who's self-made, you can't buy him. I'd vote for that person. For me, it's not about Republican or Democrat. For me, it's there's a lot of there's Democrats that are like more than Republicans. I'd rather have a wolf in wolf's clothing than a wolf in sheep's clothing, like I said yesterday. So my thoughts are they're focusing on the independent voters because they can't pull off 2020 again. And they're just starting. The closer we get to the primaries and to the election, the worse it's going to get. So buckle up. And ladies and gentlemen, stop. How do you, how do you say it? For the last seven years, all we've done is make arguments for Trump. Because the Democrats, they came out on the offense right away. Oh, he's this and he's that and he did that and he said this. And we've been, well, you know, they twisted this and no, that's not true. We've always been kind of standing up and arguing for him. We got to stop. Go on the offense. Did Joe Biden and the far left Democrat of extremists, did they, did they not do enough harm to this nation and to we the people and to the world, frankly, that we have nothing to argue them? Do, did, did they do such fantastic things that we can't, when everyone says, oh, I'm a Biden supporter, not laugh in their face and be like, are you dumb? He's he, the most racist president ever. Corrupt, criminal, for sale. Look at his family. You can tell a lot by a man and his, his heart, his intentions, his personality by his family. If his family is writing, you know, Ashley Biden's diaries and laptop and his crackhead son is sleeping with his dead son's widow. If you've seen things like this and then cocaine and we discovered at the White House, he doesn't even know how to raise his own kids. You don't tell me he's a good president. Tell me, well, you know, we need to stop with this protecting him and arg making arguments for him. No. Be like, oh, okay, you, oh, yeah, Trump did that. Well, what about Biden and all those um little kids on the laptop, the, the photos that are public? But the media won't talk about them. <clears throat> on Twitter, you will actually find from Hunter's laptop, JoJo, what, I mean, these photos are at the most 15 years old, what, 13, 12 year old kids. So we need to stop doing that. We need to go on the offense and on the offensive quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why you guys all know probably, I think his name is Harry Sisson. He's big on TikTok. He's big on um, Twitter. I think his uh, like um, Twitter and um, TikTok name used to be the, the common Democrat or something like that. Harry, if you see this, I've been calling you out on Twitter. I've been calling you out on TikTok and you're ignoring me, you're blocking me. I will donate $10,000 cash to any charity of your choice 
for a one hour debate in person with a live audience and live feeds. I will pay for all expenses, for all marketing, get the crowd, get everything set up. I will cover all that. I'll cover your expenses and I will donate $10,000 cash to any charity of your choice, Harry, to debate me. Topic, Trump versus Biden. Who did a better job? Which one's the racist and which one's not? You will get the first 30 minutes to make your factual argument and present evidence. And then I'll rebuttal for 20 minutes and I'll give you 10 minutes more. See what else you have to say. The only rules are, if you can't prove it, don't say it. You can't come and, uh, and debate me with emotions. Has to be facts. Play a video, show a picture, show legislation that was passed. Harry Sisson. And, or your little buddy. I'll debate either one of you. I'll pay for all expenses. Live audience. With live feeds. In person. 10k to any charity of your choice. I've called you out on TikTok. Twitter. Now here. Ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. If you enjoy the work and the commentary we do here. There's two things you can do. Number one. Mike Lindell is one of our partners. Check out the links down below in the description for my store and my pillow. Use, use promo code ANN at checkout for a huge discount. Also, there's a link to my merch store, MagaMerchWest.com. Patriotic t-shirts around 20 bucks, 23 bucks or less. Free shipping anywhere in the United States. You can't beat that. My email is down there and other ways you can support. I love you guys. God bless you. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. God wins. And since we believe in him, we're going to win with him. See you on the next one.